Kia and welcome to Keith Hay Park for this round five clash between Auckland Football Federation and YBOP. Coach Gemma Lewis has made two changes to the team that defeated Central Football last week. Experienced defensive duo Georgia Brown and Megan Roberts- Robertson are back in the team. <coughs> YBOP kick off. And instantly try and put Auckland back on the back foot. But Georgia Brown clears. Georgia Brown in midfield with the run forward. Great play, great ball through. And Jackie Hand with the strikes. Sensational start from Auckland. Just the fifth minute. A great run through from Georgia Brown. Some nice interplay at the edge of the box. And Jackie Hand with a definitive strike into the bottom corner to give Auckland the lead. Hannah Blake with the ball in the midfield. Nicole Metton with the ball forward. And the keeper comes out. Oh! And the ball's cleared somehow. Megan Robertson with the ball forward. Jackie Hand. Passes the ball out to George Brown with the cross. Oh, it's into the side netting. So close. Why bop with the rear attack forward. It's cleared. Taylor O'Brien with the ball. And why bop scramble clear. Auckland relentless at the moment. Jackie Hand with the ball forward. Taylor O'Brien out. Oh, sensational strike. Stephanie Skilton in the 12th minute. Great build up play from Auckland Federation, Football Federation once again. And they increase their leads. Auckland pressing once again. Why Bob have no answer at the, at the moment? Ball worked out left. Why but struggling to clear. Jackie Hand with the ball again through. A oh, great goal. Taylor O'Brien with the strike this time. Again, Why but struggling to clear through the middle. Deaf ball through. And Taylor O'Brien with the strike. And Auckland are 3 0 up in just the 16th minute. Corner for Auckland's into the back post. Why bot field to clear again, and it's deflected wide for a corner. Hannah Blake with a shot from all of 25 yards. Corner comes in near post. It comes out to Nicole Metham as a speculative effort. Oh, and it sneaked into the top corner. How did that get in? Why bot keeper. Georgia Candy looked uh, somewhat bemused there as the ball drifted into the top corner. And Nicole met him, um, looking almost embarrassed to score that goal. Uh, it's 4 0 Auckland, just the 23rd minute. Why but play the ball forwards? One of the rare forays into Auckland's box. Ball's played to the back post. Oh, a hint of a handball there. No, it's out for a corner. Corner comes into the near post. Auckland Football Federation clear. Can Wybop get back in this game before half time? Some neat play down the left hand side. A long ball, but no. Auckland's Nadia Ola collects the ball quite easily. Walking on the attack again, another another striking goal, but this time Georgia Candy saves. Oh, nice turn there. The ball's in the box again. Oh, Hannah Blake unlucky with the header. Why bops clear the lines again? Just.
Auckland trying to keep control of the ball just before half time. Oh, some slap play in defence there. Kelly Brown's gone through. Oh, and she's been sandwiched, and the referee's given the penalty. Is this a way back into the match for Wide Bob? Oh, a great penalty from Kelly Brown. Two minutes into added time at the end of the first half, and she gives the Wide Bob some hope. 4 1 to Auckland Football Federation. Well, quite a first half from Auckland there. 4 1 up um, after the first 45 minutes. Uh, 4 4 nil up after 23 minutes. It really was um, no hope for Wybop after that point. But that, la la that late goal will have given them some hope they can achieve something in the second half. Auckland immediately back on the attack in the second half. Wybop scramble clear. Oh, neat play again from Auckland. Taylor O'Brien with the ball. It falls out. No. Georgia Candy again grasps the ball. She's had a good game considering she's lost four goals so far. Ball floated in from the free kick. Oh, and Candy's taking a sore one on the, on the leg there. She looks in some distress. Her teammates are looking concerned and they're calling on the trainer. And uh, Georgia Candy's game's over. Amanda Wilshire looks like it's coming on. So Wilshire coming on to replace the injured Candy. Auckland continue to dominate in midfield. We're getting great success down this right through George Brown. Uh, some nice skill there, George Brown. She takes the defender. Can she get the cross in? She can. Is there anyone at the back post? Oh, good save by the substitute Amanda Wilshire. Quick corner kick. The ball's floating back post. Oh, just out of play. Auckland Football Federation with the ball once again. This has been a dominant performance right from the start. Great run. And the ball comes out to Taylor O'Brien. Ah, oh, and she can't quite make it count this time. Bop with a rear furry forward. Make some space. Down the left. It's crossing. Nadia Olad as well to grasp it at the near post. So we're heading into the last few minutes here at Auckland. They haven't threatened the goal. The Scorers in the second half, but there's still a few minutes left. Oh, great ball forward. The keeper comes out and catches it again. Taylor O'Brien, unlucky there. Substitute for Auckland's. Looks like a handball there, but the referee waves play on. Auckland attacking down the right. Oh, it's a stunner from Taylor Bryan. Fifth minute of added time. She made the space for herself at the edge of the box and stuck a sweet uh, shot right into the bottom corner and gave Amanda Wilshire no chance at all in, in the wide bop goal. Until the last few seconds here, Wybop will be glad this game's game's over. 
They've really struggled right from the first minute here. The ball's pumped forwards. Auckland clear again. Auckland content to play possession football here. Just see this game out. And there goes the final whistle. Fantastic 5-1 victory for Auckland Football Federation over Wybop. Right from the start, it was all one-way traffic. And once the fourth goal went in in the 23rd minute, Wybop were fighting for scraps. Uh, Auckland's next match, next Saturday, Auckland, uh, 18th of November versus Canterbury United Pride in English Park. happy with the result, 5-1, um, lots of goals for us to score, so that's uh, always pleasing. Um, first half I was really happy with, especially the first 20 minutes, um, the way the girls played, the possession, the combinations, the creativity, um, causing so many threats um, all over the field really, um, so I was really happy with that. Um, second half, obviously YWOP adapt and, and became more compact, defended a lot deeper and that made it way harder for us to break down. Um, so we could have done better in the second half, it became a bit of a stalemate to be honest um, and we became a bit predictable. Um, so definitely something for us to work on there but overall super happy with the results and, and through patches and mainly in the first half I thought we played really well. Game of two halves, I thought first half, first 20 minutes we came out really um, rearing to go and we were quite dominant I thought, um, scored a couple of early goals which was really good and that's what we set out to do in the beginning. Um, I thought we got a little bit relaxed towards the end of the second, uh, end of the first half and second half. I don't think we kind of put, influenced the game enough. Um, we did some good things all in all overall in the game and really happy with the result. But I think we could have pushed for a couple more goals there. There's always chances we tend to leave out there, um, and if we converted them all, then yeah, this would have been a, a bit of a, a run out with goals. But um, it's been happening throughout the games now. We haven't had, I don't think we've had one player, in this This is the first game we've had one player score two goals in one game. So they've been evenly spread out and that's good for us because it means we've got threats all over the field um, instead of relying on just one goal scorer. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that and, and it's good. The girls are all competing together in the goal, the goal sheet. So. They're more than capable to take on these opponents um, without us. Obviously, we would really want to be there, but this is an amazing opportunity for us and it's also a great opportunity for the up-and-coming players to get some more game time and um, show their stuff out on the pitch. And yeah, I'm really confident in what the team can do and hopefully I'll return and they've done the job and we're on to the semis and finals. It is a loss, um, but at the same time, we're so happy for them. It's great to see them progress um, and get this opportunity and we back them 100% and I'm really excited to see what they do. For us, yeah, of course, it's it's gonna hurt a little bit, but we've got we've got youngsters coming through that are really keen to to get a shot at this and, and have some game time and, and kind of take their opportunities. And I feel like you know I feel like we'll still be a threat. Um, but yeah, they'll definitely be missed uh, throughout the team, especially with the culture and everything we've brought to the table this year. And the team's really working hard for each other, so they will be missed in more ways than one. But um, we'll go out there and we'll put on performances for those girls as well as ourselves.